So, hello. Today I would like to do a review of two chairs. We've got, first of all, the Herman Miller Aeron, very famous chair. And as well, right here, the Steelcase Leap chair. So, these are two of probably the most well-known and, I would say, expensive chairs on the market at the moment. Um, with everyone working from home, these have become extremely popular chairs. Um, I've had an opportunity to get both of them used um, over the last year. And so I thought I'd do a review of them and let you know what I think. So, first of all, the price, are they worth it? I would say if you're the type to be working from home, especially at the moment, and you're spending you know, 40 hours a week in a chair, I would say yes. These are very comfortable chairs. They both have their sort of benefits and, and drawbacks. Um, something to say about an office chair is that it gives you kind of a level of, of comfort in your home, uh, which is always something that's nice to have. In terms of why these chairs specifically, I think I, I wanted to review these because lots of people have been sort of going, you know, crazy about the Herman Miller Aeron, lots of companies have been shutting down, more people have access to them on the used market than ever before, that's how I got this one. Um, and so I think it's a, it's a good time to do this. I, I actually sort of buy and sell used chairs as well. It's something that I've um, sort of developed at in the past year. And so I have experience in sitting on a number of different chairs, not just these these two chairs, being the, being the, the Aaron and the Steelcase Leap, but also other chairs like the Herman Miller Cell, Herman Miller Mirror, um, as well as a, a couple of other kind of strange chairs um, that you may not have heard of, like the, the Novel Life Chair, uh, Orange Box, Gyroflex chairs, these are all kind of more expensive chairs than you would you, you would normally see than your kind of standard um, standard chair type thing. Um, but really, really nice, really nice chairs and a nice experience as well. So what, what makes these chairs unique? Why would you consider buying them? So they have a lot of adjustments that suit a wide array of people. So if you can see here on the steel case chair that I've got, you can adjust the tension. This will adjust the tension of the kind of back back bit here. You notice this is kind of flexible and it can go by. It's not like a hard rigid um, back. So it's got foam on, on it, on the back, but as well as that, the plastic of the back will actually bend. It actually makes it quite comfortable to sit in. I'm 5'11", uh, 190 pounds, just for reference. Um, and this fits me quite well. The height adjustment is all the way up on this chair and my feet are sort of just on the ground in, in the right kind of way. So it is a nice, it is a nice feel in this chair. The armrests on the Steelcase Leap V2, this is a V2 I've got, are really, I would say, one of the best features about it. They come forward, they come back, they go to the side, they come inwards, they tilt sideways. These are really, really nice. Um, the, the seat depth can also be adjusted on the Leap. So if I push this lever here, push this, up, I think it is. Uh, that can slide the, yeah, that can slide the seat backwards and forwards. This is a really good adjustment, which allows it to fit multiple types of people. Um, if you're on a small build, you want the seat to kind of back because then your legs will have plenty of room. Um, and if you're tall, you know, you can slide the seat out and it'll be more comfortable. I'm say more taller, so you know, I like to have the seat not maybe all the way forward, but a decent amount forward. And that just allows me to sit really, really comfortably, feel that the seat is fully supporting me. Um, and it is a genuinely nice foam as well. It's really, really smooth, very comfortable. Um, I have tried a, a Steelcase Leap version one. My brother actually has that upstairs in his room. Um, I, got, I got it used in, in my town. And I actually don't, don't like that one. Um, I think the Steelcase Leap version one the, the cushion is much harder and it's a, it's a strange shape. It's sort of concave, if you know what I mean. So the back, it's sort of, the back bits are like this and then it goes inwards. And so your back doesn't feel like it's probably touching the back all the time, as well as I think the cushion being harder than this chair. And so you don't sink as well into it. You sort of feel like you're on top of it a bit more. And that actually, I, I find makes it uncomfortable. Um, this V2 is, I feel a slightly smaller chair, possibly. But it's actually nicer, it's easier to adjust. Um, the adjustments are basically the same, but if you can, I would say to get a Leap V2. 
over the, the V1 if you have the money for it. Uh, for me personally, it's just much a much nicer chair. Um, so the Leap V2, which is the one I'm sitting in, really, really nice chair. I would be totally fine working with this, you know, eight hours a day, you know, 12 hours a day. Um, just really, really comfortable. Genuinely nice feeling. I feel relaxed. The tilt mechanism, when I go back, the whole chair sort of tilts, if you can see. So the, the, the bottom seat sort of slides out and then the back reclines. So it's like this. I've got it locked actually at the moment. Um, so I can unlock it and then the back will go down as far as it can. All the way to the bottom. I think that's that slide there. So all the way there. So you can have a really big recline if you need to. Um, but the armrests on this chair, I would say, are probably the best, maybe the best feature as well as just the, the really nice level of comfort in it. Um, yeah, really solid chair. So how does it compare to the Herman Miller Aeron, which I'm going to sit in now? So the Aeron, as you probably all know, is, is a mesh based design. Um, I've got the lumbar support in the back, which enables it to have a bit more kind of um, rigidity to it. This is the size C Aeron. Um, I would say anyone who is over maybe 5'9 would actually be better suited to a size C Aeron. I feel the size B is, I sat in a size B, um, and it's too small. It doesn't, it doesn't come up to my sort of shoulder area. It's sort of like, like here almost. It's really, it's really actually quite small when you, when you see the chair. Um, and for anyone over like 5'9", I would say it's not, not the right fit. You actually want a size C, which is difficult at the moment because lots of offices will just buy the size B. Um, if you have tried a Herman Miller cell or a Herman Miller mirror, then the Aeron size C is pretty much those sizes, I would say. And the Aeron size B is a bit smaller than those, um, which I think makes it difficult to recommend an Aeron to everyone because you need to get the size right. If you don't get the size right, you're going to be sitting in a chair that's sort of far too, that doesn't come up to your back enough and doesn't support you enough. And it, it's not, it's not as comfortable, I would say. So I have the, the, the posture fit, or sorry, not the posture fit, just the lumbar support bar on here. And that sort of slides up and down. And I really like this. It's, um, you can turn it around the other way and it can be sort of quite aggressive or, or not. Um, but it's a good design. It's comfortable and makes sitting on it easy, the recline is nice. With a mesh, there's not as many ways you can sit in it. So if I'm on this, I can sit in sort of different positions maybe. With this, there's sort of one way to sit in it, which is, you know, you sit all the way back, place your back, there's a nice sort of curve to your back based on how the chair supports you and the lumbar support digs in at the back. Um, and that's it, you sort of have this one way to sit. It's not uncomfortable, it's very, it's very pleasant. Um, I've used this chair for, for quite a few months now. I do like it, I do like the Aaron, it's very nice. I would say it's, it's really quite similar to the Herman Miller mirror. If you want that kind of more supportive back, actually a mirror can be a better chair than the Aaron I found. I was really, really tempted just <clears throat> to just keep the Herman Miller mirror, which I tried out. Um, I found that used somewhere, I ended up selling it because I, I got a nice offer, but it's a really, really comfortable chair. And I think most people overlook the mirror because they just go, oh, well, the air on's the top brand, I'll just go the air on. But if the mesh is not in perfect condition, it's going to, I would say, fray over time and rip, especially if it's got a little ripping up here already, they can develop into, you know, larger tears and larger defects, and then you have to replace the whole chair, and that can be expensive at the moment. Um, I would say the, Herman Miller Aeron is a nice chair. It's good. It's it's really good. Um, is it worth the premium compared to some of the other used brands like the Staircase Leap? You can find these quite cheap. You know, in, especially in the UK where I am, a used Aeron in good condition will set you back three four hundred pounds. A Leap in a Leap One in good condition will set you back maybe one fifty. 150 pounds, an elite version two, maybe 200 to 250 pounds. And for that, I would say that actually the elite V2 is going to suit more people better. 
it's it's a cushion design. It's more it's more comfortable actually. Um, it's more comfortable. It's got a lot more adjustments. The seat depth is a really nice adjustment because you don't have to worry about okay, well, what size do I need? Do I need a size A, size B, a size C air on or something? You just you just get one chair and it has you know the seat depth adjustment to seat different heights of users. The back is perfectly high enough. I think for you know for someone. Um, I'm 5'11", it's you know, perfect for me. If you were taller, I think it would be fine as well. Um, if you were shorter, then that's, that wouldn't be a problem either. You have you know, a lumbar support at the back to adjust up and down as well to the different areas if you want. That's a bit hard stuck in there, I'll just leave that there. But really nice. And the back kind of flexes, it's, it's nice. It flexes to you know, suit your weight and stuff. Whereas the mesh, it's sort of designed not to, well, it, the mesh is just the mesh, it just sort of holds you and you can't really do much of that. I'm not sure if you can see, but the, the lumbar support is actually taking, I would say, most of my weight on the back and the mesh is just sort of forming around the rest of my back that's there. It's comfortable. I actually like this lumbar support due to the way it digs in and I find it quite comfortable to sit like this. Um, it is really nice. Um, the armrests on the, the Aeron chair aren't the best. I actually dislike these armrests quite a lot. They really are, they, they feel cheap and kind of flimsy. Um, I guess that's kind of a product of when they were designed, which was like 1992 or 99, the first Aeron came out or something. This is a classic Aeron I've got, not the remastered. But the armrests, you know, you can't, most, most chairs, you, they sort of have this design where, you know, the armrest sticks up, you push a button to, you know, raise or lower the armrest and then you, know, you can kind of flip the armrest out and put it around. These are really nicely put sun, that's why I like them so much. But these ones, they, they, they really suck in comparison. You know, you can bring the armrest to the side and in and out, and that's it. And you have, on the back, you have sort of a, a lever here. If you pull that lever, then you can adjust the armrest up and down. But it's a really clumsy, it's a really clumsy way of adjusting the armrest. And my, my armrest here has a kind of rattle in it. it, it the, the latch that's meant to secure it is all the way down, but it's something's wrong, it needs to be tightened. Uh, I don't exactly know how to do that. And so the armrest is just here. So well, the armrest, they're, they're, they're very hard, sort of plasticky things. They don't feel very, very good. Um, the leaps are much, much nicer and softer and they feel, they feel better. They don't just feel like a big, big lump of plastic that's been put, put here. I'd much prefer if the kind of armrest were sort of on this, like ball joint here, they sort of rose up like these ones. I think that would make the make the Aeron experience much better. So I, I don't think the Aeron is really um, the premium chair. I don't think it's the best in the world. Um, I know because I've sat on so many other chairs, uh, which are similar to the Aeron. You have to consider that the Aeron is like a 20 year old design. And even the Aeron remastered um, is you know, based pretty much almost entirely on that design. It's, it's mesh, it's a sort of plastic frame with mesh stretched around it. And there's not much you can actually do with that once you sort of sit down in it. It's sort of like, that's that. And if it fits you, great. If not, well, tough luck because it's mesh. And you can't, you know, you can't adjust, you can't sit in different positions. You can't adjust the seat depth or anything. It's just, that's, that's the way it is. Um, and so it's not, it's not great. I would say actually the Herman Miller Mirror would be a nicer chair for a lot of people who like the Aaron. I, I really like that chair. Really nice, really comfortable. Got the same kind of mesh seat, which is okay, but the back being a plastic and kind of adjustable, you can move in it a bit more and, and feel like it flexes a bit. But overall between these chairs, um, I think I like, I like the Steelcase chair actually more. Um, it's more comfortable, it's a nicer, nicer design. I think it feels more, more kind of premium um, in a way. It's, it's just nicer to, to sit in. And I think that makes it a better, a better experience. And especially for most people, um, I would not really recommend the Aeron as much. It has a, it has a premium, it's sort of like Apple. Um, I don't, don't really like Apple, it's kind of has that that premium just because um, it has a nice brand name and recognizable. But is it the top? I personally don't think so. 
And so, yeah, something like the steel case, if you can afford one, if you can find one, will be a really, really nice chair for you. Um, it is for me. I think I will start using this sort of full time as my office chair, switching from the Aeron, just because it's it's so comfortable. It's so sort of fluffy. I don't know, the way the cushion holds you is really nice. I haven't felt another kind of cushion design like this. Um, closest chair to compare to would probably be something like the Herman Miller cell, where it has a padded kind of back and uh, it, that has like a plasticky back to it. Um, one feature I didn't mention about the Aeron actually, which is probably the best feature that it has is the forward tilt. Um, if you get an Aeron, don't get it without the forward tilt. I would say that because the forward tilt is such a good feature. So this is the normal position of the chair and it almost feels a bit reclined. Um, compared to other office chairs. It almost feels like I'm not, like I'm leaning back a bit, especially if you have the tension low, then you'll stand that this is the highest that'll go. If you have the tension lower, then you'll sort of drift to this position standing, which almost feels like I'm reclining. And so if you lean back and push one of the levers on the side, you can put the chair in a more upright position like this. And this is actually really, really nice. This enables me to do my computer, um, working, so I'm more, I, I feel more engaged because I'm more upright. It feels like a more natural position. It feels better for my kind of spine because I'm, I don't know, more upright. My neck is not as sort of far forward. I can, you know, put my neck back, put my shoulders back, be in a nice ergonomic position. And so if you are going to get an out, I recommend you, you must get one that's fully loaded. And so that will have the forward tilt lever, which is... Here, I'll just show you. So these are the two, two levers here. So this is the tilt lock one, and this is the forward tilt. I engage. If I put that down, it gets me to the normal position. Lean back, pull up, forward tilt. So definitely get the forward tilt if you can. The steel case chair doesn't have the forward tilt. It would, it would be, I think, even better if it did. Um, I think the forward tilt option is a really nice one. I'm really enjoying that. If you want other chairs with forward tilt, you can of course go with the. You know, Herman Miller Cell, Herman Miller Mirror, Hayworth Zodi as well. That's a, that's a nice chair, uh, one I would like to sit in at some time. But the four tilt, I think, is what, what really makes the Aeron. Um, it's known for the mesh, but the four tilt, I think, is the best feature that it has. Um, really, real shame that the kind of steel case doesn't have it, but I don't think it needs it. It, it has a nicer kind of standard seating position. I feel like the standard position is just nicer. Um, it's a bit more upright maybe as well. And so you don't feel the need to maybe have that forward tilt because I'm so, you know, kind of upright already in the chair. I just feel, I just feel good. I just feel good like this. So yeah, I would say that's my review of the two chairs. Um, if you get a chance to pick up any of them cheap, do so. Facebook Marketplace is a great place to find these. Um, you know, if you're in the US or something, you have more availability. Uh, in the UK, the chair supply is a bit drier, but we still get deals. I still, I, you know, I, I kind of look every day and see if there's something in my area that's cheap and I can pick up. Um, and yeah, I, I got this, this one was like 385 pound, like six months ago, it was expensive. This Herman Miller, sorry, this uh, Steelcase Leap, V2 was only like 100 quid, um, really, really nice. I got it cheap, but it has a bit sort of taken out of the arm, it's a chunk of this. But that's like the only defect that it has with me. Just extremely comfortable, extremely nice. I think anyone would be satisfied with this chair. The other one is more difficult to satisfy people with, because you need, first of all, you need the right size for them. If they're sort of, you know, too small, they're not gonna enjoy the chair. If they're too big and you get the wrong size, they're equally not gonna feel that it fits them. Whereas a chair like this, I think will just fit more people because you have the seat depth adjustment and sort of the cushion is more forgiving um, in terms of where you distribute your weight. If you're on the air, your weight is sort of forced to be distributed in a certain way due to the mesh. You're, you know, you're going to sink into the middle of the chair. And so that's why I think they kind of aren't as adjustable, which is a shame really. Um, yeah, good chairs, both of them, steel case, Herman Miller, don't really make a bad chair. If you can find either of them for a reasonable price point, I can almost guarantee that it's going to be better.
than your current office chair. I mean, if it's just a cheap kind of thing. There are lots of budget chairs, you know, Staples, um, Ikea, the Ikea Marcus is a nice, nice kind of chair that I tried out sort of my first office chair that I, that I bought. Um, but just lacking adjustments. Generally, I would say the more premium chairs have more adjustments um, in terms of seat depth and recline, uh, tilt lock, forward tilt. If you find those adjustments, you know, lumbar support being a good one as well. If you find a chair with those adjustments, it's more likely to be um, a more expensive chair and one that, you know, will last a number of years. So yeah, that's my review. Hope this um, clears it up. Any questions, just post them in the comments. I'm free to you know, also what I think about these chairs or other chairs, if you'd like a review of, you know, other Herman Miller chairs, I can do that, the Herman Miller cell, you know, I can, I can do a review of that. But, um, yeah, overall, nice chairs. I say I, I prefer, I prefer this steel case. I do prefer it. It's a nicer, kind of easier sitting experience. But Herman Miller, you know, they don't make a bad chair. So, yeah, thanks guys. Take care.